like this and has another page for the species. So there's a bit of information that you record uh, about the conditions and also uh, information there about human activity and threats, which means that you can uh, get a, uh, a more useful outcome that you can deliver. There's information about what's happening about the site as well as what the birds are doing. So I talked already about the, the advantages of having birds in the air, um, but the first thing that I think is important to do when you arrive at a site is to get an estimate of how many are there. Sure as eggs, sooner or later a hawk is going to fly over or a seagull and everything is going to fly away and for some reason today they've gone to another beach, that's it. That's all you were able to do. And so even if you've just got a, a rough estimate of the total number of birds, that's useful. There were probably 500 birds there, not five. And that's useful. So I always encourage people to get that first. And secondly, you can identify what the speaker was. So was there a curly there? Oh yes, yes, there were two or three big ones. Uh, curlies were there. And what were some of the others? Well, I, I did see that thing fly in, and I know that was a black tail got wet. Or mm, there's clearly some redneck spits as well. So that gets you started on the IDs. Uh, if you're then able to estimate proportions, uh, well, it looked as though there were three species there and, and that one occupied probably 75% and the rest and so on. That's then able to uh, break down to give you estimates of each of those three species. But you need to do it as many times as you can to really fine tune your numbers. Sure as eggs, if they're densely packed, you'll, you'll need to do that several times to be sure of how many there actually are. Uh, so repetition is important. Um, if the birds are starting to spread after, yeah, after the tide has turned, then that will help you a little bit. What about counting birds in flight, though? We did talk about the importance of minimising disturbance. Try and avoid flushing birds in March and April particularly, because that's the time when they've got those fat reserves that they need for their big journey. And so if they have to use up too much of that before they go, they're either going to have to stay longer to re recover that extra fat reserve, um, or they're going to take off and they're not going to last the distance. They're going to perhaps drop in the sea along the way. Um, so. That's a pretty important issue, particularly just before migration. Minimise or avoid 